Yamaha YCF R1 and R1M. The new generation of Yamaha's Hyperbike is all about improved aerodynamics, advanced electronics and a reworked engine. The exterior has received a more MotoGP-inspired styling with new screen and fairing that are promised to improve the aerodynamic efficiency by 5.3%. The power plant is still a 998cc liquid-cooled inline four-cylinder, but it becomes Euro 5 compliant, receiving a new intake system, complete with 10-hull Bosch fuel injectors. The output remains at the 200 horsepower and 83 pound-feet of torque level, but valve operation is more stable at higher RPM and the burn is more efficient. Further improvements include a modern ride-by-wire system that gives a natural riding feel, updated KYB suspension, new cornering ABS and 6-axis IMU. Meanwhile, the Yamaha YCF R1M Limited Edition will shed additional weight thanks to the carbon fiber bodywork and magnesium wheels, plus the suspension is by Allens. BMW S1000RR It has been 10 years since the first generation of the RR enthralled the world of motorcycles, so in 2020, the company engineers are once again pushing the limits in their pursuit of the ideal sports bike. The all-new S1000RR gets a full redesign, becoming noticeably lighter and even more powerful. Every detail of its bodywork ensures optimal aerodynamics and low drag penetration. The four-cylinder engine is rebuilt from scratch and it now delivers 205 horses at 13,500 RPM. Thanks to the shift cam technology which adjusts valve's timing and lift, the engine develops more torque even in low and medium speed ranges. But if you still seek more power, the optional M Sport package will turn the RR from a phenomenally fast bike into an ultimate racing machine. Suzuki Katana Revived by the public demand, the new sports bike from Suzuki, based on the GSX S1000F, aims to fill the shoes of the original Katana by delivering its unparalleled riding experience enhanced by modern upgrades. The model features an aluminum alloy twin spar frame, a swing arm borrowed from the 2016 GSX R1000, disc brakes with Brembo calipers up front, and advanced ABS from Bosch. The motorcycle is powered by a specially tuned 999cc inline 4 that was sourced from the GSX model released between 2005 and 2008. The engine is paired with a 6-speed gearbox, delivering 148 horses and 80 pound-feet of torque. Other features of the bike include a custom-built instrument cluster, a square headlight that uses LEDs, bulky fairing, and a plush seat positioned just 32.5 inches above the ground. BMW Motorrad Vision DC Roadster Introduced at the BMW's next-gen event, the Vision DC Roadster reinterprets the looks of the company's classic models with two-cylinder boxer engines, but comes with an all-electric powertrain. To save valuable space and keep the familiar design, the engineers installed the battery at the center of the frame and positioned the electric motor underneath. Here, it is perfectly cooled by the airflow passing during the ride and the additional cooling elements that move out when the bike starts. The framework is dominated by carbon fiber and milled aluminum, while all lights are built around LED elements. Even on the flanks of the tires, there are five fluorescent elements that improve the bike's visibility at night. Unfortunately, for now the Germans have not announced any details about the technical characteristics of the concept. Ducati Street Fighter V4 in essence, the upcoming Ducati is a stripped-down version of the Panigale V4 Superbike, and since it keeps the mighty 1103cc Desmo Sedici Shradali engine, the experts are already calling it the most powerful open-class naked the world has ever seen. As a reminder, the Italian makes 220 horsepower at 15,250 rpm and 91.5 pound-feet of torque at 11,500 rpm. We must mention that the V4 was presented as a prototype at the 2019 Pikes Peak International Hill Climb and was ridden by the legendary Carl Linton. The longtime Ducati specialist and four-time winner of the race was supposed to set a new world record on the 1st of July, but with the finish line in sight, a tragic accident claimed his life. Zero SRF in terms of being the best combination of performance, range and adequate pricing, if it's even a thing for electric bikes, the all-new Zero SRF undoubtedly makes it to the top. The newcomer keeps it simple, the sporty naked design is indeed appealing and creates muscular presence on the road. 
In fact, this is the most powerful and the fastest Zero motorcycle to date. It owes the extra horses and miles per hour to the new Z4 7510 motor that yields 110 HP and converts them to 124 miles per hour top speed. The SRF is good for 161 mile in the city cycle, which could be extended to 200 with the optional power tank. Two trims are on offer, standard and premium, but the only difference between them is the charging duration. The latter slices 20 minutes off the battery recuperation cycle, but adds $2,000 to the price tag. Yamaha YZF R3 Monster Energy Motor GP Edition in 2020, the Japanese manufacturer keeps its Super Sport lineup in strict accordance with the previously adopted direction without adding any cardinal innovations. However, to refresh the YCF R3 model, Yamaha designers decided to introduce a special Monster Energy modification. The limited edition pays tribute to the YCR M1 racer, borrowing its aggressive styling and bright green Monster Energy livery. The front end responsiveness and control feel are provided by an inverted fork with optimized spring and damping setting and an anti-lock braking system. The low-profile fuel tank and the relocated handlebar offer improved ergonomics, while the new Dunlop GPR 300 tires guarantee racing quality grip for sporty riding. Under the sleek fairing hides the original YCF R3 with 321cc inline two-cylinder engine. The transmission is 6-speed, while the modernized injector promises attractive 56 mpg consumption. The Monster Energy Yamaha MotoGP Edition is priced at about $300 above the original trim. If you are solely interested in a certain class of motorbikes or would like to learn about the electric models, make sure to check out other videos on our channel. The suggestions are displayed on the screen. Let's keep going! Yamaha YZ250FX This is the newest two-wheeler in Yamaha's off-road stables that is based on the YZ250X motocrosser and is built specifically for cross-country riding. All of its components, from chassis and powertrain to purpose-built tires, are optimized for trailing. The bike gets a lightweight aluminum bilateral beam frame that comes standard with a tough plastic skid plate. Its chassis features the fan favorite KYB fully adjustable forks and rear shocks from the same brand, which are tuned for racing cross country courses. At the heart of the new Yamaha sits a thoroughly revised liquid cooled four stroke engine with new intake and exhaust ports. It's paired with a six speed gearbox that is updated for off roading. This powertrain is adapted to work with Yamaha's Power Tuner app, and the new handlebar mounted switch allows the rider to choose between different engine maps that have been preset using the app. MV Agusta Super Veloce 800 Initially presented as a concept at the 2018 Milan Motorcycle Show, this beautiful Italian superbike has been greenlit for production. The Neo Retro draws design inspiration from the 1970s but will be built on the company's modern F3800 platform, receiving triple exhaust, piercing LED lights, TFT dashboard, advanced ride-by-wire, and traction control systems. The fairing is all carbon fiber, and it envelops the frame and engine as a second skin. The tech specs have not been released yet, but the bike is likely to get a 798cc three-cylinder engine that outputs 148 horsepower. The 2020 Off-Road Lineup by Kawasaki In 2020, Kawasaki is expanding its dirt bike lineup, adding three new motorcycles to the KLX range. The Off-Road only 230R and 300R plus the Dual Sport 230. The latter comes built on a new platform with a 230cc single-cylinder engine, six-speed gearbox, full-size wheels with GP tires, and an available ABS. Instead of a 10.4 inches of ground clearance, its R version offers 11.8, plus it also has longer suspension travel. The 300R bike gets equipped with a larger capacity 292cc engine with liquid cooling instead of air cooling, electric start and fuel injection. Bringing more power than the rest of the KLX off-roaders, this two-wheeler is designed to offer a middle ground between a weekend bike and a tour dirt racer. As both the KLX 230R and 300R are suitable for recreational use only, they get no headlights, gauges, and turn signals. BMW R90-5 In 2020, BMW Motorrad is celebrating the 50th anniversary of the legendary 5 series of motorcycles in production out of Berlin. 
To celebrate the occasion, the manufacturer is taking a look back to the past with the future in mind and creates a limited edition R90 that combines the cutting-edge tech and the aesthetics of the bygone era. The distinctive design features that nod to the original Slash 5 are a contoured double seat with straps, chrome exhaust manifold, and the major components are finished in aluminum silver. At its heart, the new BMW keeps the iconic air-cooled 1170cc boxer, which makes 110 horses and is EU4 compliant. Lightning Strike in 2020, the creators of the fastest electric superbike in the world are adding another sport-oriented model to their lineup. The advantage of the newcomer is that it has been announced to cost more than two times less than the 218 mph LS Monster. Unveiled in March 2019, the two-wheeler is represented by three configurations, which mostly vary in terms of the battery size. The base model is getting a $13,000 price tag, 100 miles of range and 90 horses output while the top-of-the-line carbon edition costs 20 grand, doubling the range, adding 30 horsepower, and getting out of the box level 3 CCS charging.